Hello and welcome back. All right, I'm creating a brand new series of videos based on the new functionality introduced in Pro Tools Studio version of software introduced in April of 2022. Now this is a whole boatload of advanced automation features that was previously only available in Pro Tools Ultimate. It's now available in Pro Tools Studio, which was previously called Pro Tools Standard. So for anybody who's not upgraded already, make sure you upgrade to 2022.4 to take advantage of these cool new features. All right, so I'm looking at my Pro Tools timeline. I have all my tracks in volume automation view. If you're not sure how to get there, on a Mac, hold the Option key. On a PC, hold the Alt key, and you can switch from waveform view where you can see all the waveforms which is the default view in Pro Tools edit window hold down the option key on any track and click on waveform and switch to volume holding the option key on a Mac or an alt key on a PC will apply that to all tracks all right so here's the scenario I've got a bunch of tracks I've listened to them I want to start automating and starting with volume levels so I'm gonna start playback and all of my tracks are in latch mode. I did the same thing. Hold down the option key on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and switch to latch mode. And what this does is it allows me to start playback and grab some levels. And you can see that the volume level is going to write. When I let go, it will continue to write at the level I let go at. Right? And I'm going to do some different levels. And as I go through this song, I'm listening to it and I'm adjusting these levels. I'm doing it one at a time here with a mouse, but if you've got a control surface, you might be doing multiple faders at once, adjusting these levels. And by the time I get to the midway point of the song or towards the end of the song, I've adjusted all these tracks to the point that is improved volume wise balance wise from where I started at the beginning of the session now I want to write these new levels that I've arrived at all the way back to the beginning so in this floating automation window which can be found under the window menu automation I'm gonna click the manual right button the left one right automation to start and it's gonna send these new levels all the way back to the beginning of the session. Now when I stop and I go back, the levels that I arrived at at the end of the song are at the beginning as well. So now I'm just kind of whittling away and fine tuning these levels just a little bit more. I'm gonna adjust the volume. And again, I'm listening to it and adjusting levels as we go. Now in this example, I, I, on, I also want to write these new levels not only to the beginning, but to the end of the session as well. So I'm going to write these levels, I'm adjusting volumes, I'm balancing, balancing things out, I like the new levels that I've arrived at, and I want these levels to be written to the whole duration of the session. So in this case, I'm going to hit the left and right arrow, right automation to selection, and it's going to send these new levels, which is writing in red right now, all the way to the beginning of the session and all the way to the end. And now I've got a new adjusted levels. All right, so let's take this a step further. Let's say I'm in the chorus section of a song and I wanna have different automation levels. I'm gonna make a selection, the duration of the chorus. I can do it on any track. It doesn't matter which track I choose. And I can do the same thing, right? So I'm gonna adjust levels. This is gonna be a little bit different volume level for the chorus session, section or the bridge, whatever section you might wanna apply this to. You see I've got new levels. Now I want these new levels to be applied to the whole duration of that selection. I'm gonna hit that same manual right to selection button. Those new levels that I just adjusted are written to the length of that selection and I've updated that chorus section. Now last but not least on this function, if I start playback here and I wanna adjust some levels, I'm happy with the levels all the way back to the beginning, but I wanna write these new levels that I've got to the end. I'll hit that right button, right to end, and it will send these automation new levels all the way to the end of the session. This is a really cool, powerful way to use right to uh, manual write mode in the automation window. Um, the two buttons right below that is a write to punch in. So if I start playback here and I start writing by grabbing a volume fader and adjusting the level, I don't wanna maybe write this all the way back to the beginning, but I wanna write this new level back to where I started playback or where I started writing the automation. That's what this button is here. 
write automation to punch point. I'll hit that. It'll take this new level all the way back to where I started writing automation. And then this button to the right is right to the next breakpoint. So if I hit here, it's going to take it right to the next breakpoint. So some really powerful automation tools. And there's more to come. So check back in. Subscribe and so you'll be informed when these new videos become available. Thanks. See you soon.